Hey, keep me where the light is, keep me where the bright is. Two left feet, can you show me where to ride? Hey guys, it's Pajima. So today I am going to be doing something a little bit different. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, and honestly, it was because I had lack of motivation on what to post. I feel like my channel is super random. I know most people, when they go to a YouTube channel, they have one purpose because that channel has a theme. So you're gonna go to a beauty YouTuber because they do makeup, and you're gonna go to a lifestyle YouTuber because they do vlogs. So I actually decided on something that I am really passionate about and I enjoy, and I hope that you guys enjoy as well. It doesn't mean that I'm not gonna do pranks or things that other things that you guys like I do want to focus my channel more and find my niche and I think I found it it's basically like beauty fashion and lifestyle so I really want to share with you guys my style tips and I really like doing makeup so I really want to share that with you guys as well I can take you guys on trips with me when I buy my makeup things like that so I'm going to start making videos more oriented for that so if you guys want to stick around then I am more than happy to have you here so today I'm going to be doing five styling tips for curvy girls which is more of like my body type I'm not skinny I'm not thin and there's nothing wrong with being skinny or thin I just have a different body type I have more of the thicker side so I know that it's more difficult to style body types like mine so I just want to give a few tips for my girls that are like that even if you're not curvy like these are just cute styling tips that I think look good on anybody I just think that they help more like people like me so I just want to share them I wear whatever the hell I want with no shame these are just some tips to help you feel more comfortable and confident so without further ado if you guys want to see five styling tips for curvy girls then let's get on with the video I say curvy because when you say thick I think YouTube registers it as inappropriate, so I'll say curvy. Okay, so styling tip number one for curvy girls, off-the-shoulder tops. I'm wearing one right now. If you guys don't know what an off-the-shoulder top is, it is this. Like, you could wear it like this, but thicker girls, we have our big arms. So this is cute, but off-the-shoulder tops are the happy medium. They hide our arms more. By the way, I've been working on my arms. If you guys want me to make a video about it, I have an arm workout routine now. So if you're like me and you're insecure about your arms, off-the-shoulder tops are perfect because they're like the right amount of cute. They're not big. They're still tight and I love tight clothes. And they hide your arms a little bit. I actually have so many. By the way, stripes like this make you look bigger. Just letting you know, I still think the shirt is cute. You can wear whatever you want. But horizontal stripes do make you look bigger. I don't care, I still wear it. But I have this off the shoulder top. This one's a little old. This off the shoulder top is a horizontal stripe too. You can tell I don't care. I'm just like, I'll wear whatever. But I like this one because it has more of a sleeve. So it actually goes lower. So it like doesn't ride up like this one. But still, it's so cute. It's off the shoulder and I love it. And makes you wear jewelry because if I wasn't wearing a necklace I feel like my you just see chest and stuff like that so wear like jewelry and stuff with it and it's such a cute like outfit all right so styling tip number two loose tops are most of the time a big no-no and I'll show you why so I am wearing a loose top right now this is actually not mine because I all the clothes I have were literally tight so this is actually my friends that I stole because it was so comfortable the style right now is to wear baggy clothes but with us girls we're more, um, we're bigger here, so what happens when I turn to the side, I look this big because this is where like my boobs are, this is how big I look, this is as big as I am, so you see the difference? I'm not saying that you can't wear loose tops, I'm just saying be mindful of it and there's different ways that you could style them so they don't look as, you know, like crazy, for example, look, I'm tucking it in. I would definitely wear a belt with this if I tuck something in because I think it just looks weird without a belt, but I don't got a belt right now. <laughs> so you kind of have that puffy thing, but still you have more shape. It doesn't cut you off. Something like this. Most girls like my size, like I get medium in all my clothes, um, but I know that if I were ever to ask somebody what size am I, they'd probably tell me large to extra large. And honestly, that just doesn't fit my body type. So I would honestly say don't shop for your size, shop for your body type. So I do have like a bigger chest, but I like tight clothes. So I always get mediums and sometimes I'll get large because it just doesn't fit around my arms. But honestly, medium is what I've always been wearing and I've never been told that looks too small on you or that it's, it's always fit me and I've always felt comfortable. So I would honestly just say don't listen to the sizes, wear what you want to wear, like what size you feel is the best for you. Don't feel like a shame because you're getting a smaller size than what people think you are because honestly I could wear a large and stuff like that but it doesn't fit me right. 
if you if that makes any sense. So again, I'm not saying I'm not telling you guys what to wear that you can't wear loose tops because they're super cute, honestly. I would just say to style them differently, and that brings me to my next tip. This is such a cute way you can style all your big shirts. So what you do is you grab all the excess in the front. This also kind of accentuates your like your chest. It's just super cute, and then you wrap it around two fingers. This is a bread knot because this is how I tie my bread. And then you just tuck it under right here and then pull it through. And there you have it. That's a little like bread knot thing. That's super cute. You can also tie it like this with the bunny ears kind of thing. This is just like literally like a bow tie kind of tie. This is like a shoe tie kind of thing. My personal favorite is the first one. I just think it's cuter and I feel like I could do it tighter because I feel like this would like unravel very easily. So the first one is definitely my favorite. And then I usually like just put up my pants like on the sides and then I just kind of like put it down and it's just super cute. It kind of like shows my back a little bit so my shape is still there but I'm still very comfortable because it is still a loose shirt. So again, grab it like this looks kind of weird wrap it around two fingers and tuck it right here and once you tuck it pull it through and it's that easy okay so again I'm using this shirt again for an example because it's one of the only loose shirts I have so if you do want to wear a loose shirt I would suggest that you don't wear loose on loose so I know baggy with baggy is definitely the style now, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm mostly only skinny girls doing that, and it, don't get me wrong, it looks great on them, but for us, it makes us look 10 times bigger. I can't wear loose jeans like this, and then also wear this because I feel like I'll look homeless. It's loose on loose, I have no shape to me, it's like, I'm cut off and everything. We can, we can adjust it, we can adjust it. What I do is I'll wear the loose top with tight jeans and then tie it, like I said, or I could wear this top with those jeans, but I'll make sure that I definitely tie it. So personally, I avoid loose on loose and I always wear tight clothes, um, but I do enjoy these jeans a lot because they're one of my favorite jeans ever. So when I'm wearing these jeans, since they're loose, I'll wear a tight shirt. But especially with these jeans, it just goes better with my body and it accentuates like my hips, but then up top I look thin. So the last styling tip has to do with the jeans. So before I pan the camera lower, we know us curvy girls, we have to have jeans that fit our butt and fit our thighs. So I've tried on jeans that fit my thighs, but they don't fit my booty. Or they fit my booty, but they don't fit my freaking thighs or my legs. It's hard to find jeans that fit us like just right. I mostly get my jeans actually from Dee Dee's discounts and they're such a great price and they always fit me really well. So the problem is that because of this, our jeans are always bunched up at the bottom. Let me show you. This angle already makes me look very short, but as you can see, look at all that extra fabric right there, y'all. I want to crunch because I want to talk to y'all. So what that does is it basically just cuts off our length. Like, we're already kind of short because I know most thick girls, like, we're, like, condensed. Um, so we're already mostly short. It, it makes it obvious that the pants aren't, like, the best fit. It looks sloppy. Makes you look like your pants don't fit. And technically, they don't really, like, fit perfectly because this should be exactly right there. So obviously, we're just going to... Fold it and there's different ways that you can fold it because I know that some girls do like a scrunchy way this is usually the type of way I fold it I know some girls that they don't like it that way so they'll fold it like they'll fold it in I don't like folding it in to be honest because I just feel like it looks like more obvious they'll fold it like that I don't like that way I don't like to do it too high like that because this looks thick and it obviously accentuates that it doesn't fit so make sure that you don't do it too much and then you kind of just fold it like that. So you want to make sure that this band isn't super thick because then it's so obvious if this thing is like, then it's like your pants don't fit you girl. I know girls fold up usually twice but it like hurts my ankles. Make sure that they're even. And then if you guys notice like my shoes, I'm not trying to flex or anything, these shoes actually give me a boost. And when you have like a boost, it actually makes your butt look better. Just saying. 
that's that's a tip not just for curvy girls that's just for everybody like that's why girls like when they wear heels their butt looks better because their legs look longer it just draws more attention to your butt so if you get like boosty shoes like this it'll like accentuate that also when you fold your pants like that it's so cute to wear like a little anklet again that goes for just everybody so those were all my styling tips I honestly had so much fun making this video so I hope that you guys want to see more because that's what I'm going to be doing and with that that is all I have for you guys today thank you so much for watching if you guys like this video I have plenty of others and we'll be making much more in the future so please consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video bye Oh, 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 oh. Baby, oh, oh, oh.